I came out here to film my garden tour. Ain't happening. We have a massive storm system rolling in. Just in time to thwart my tour. So it is currently morning, but I'm getting ready to start dinner because I'm doing a very easy slow cooker recipe. Now I have said this before and I say it again, if you are only using your slow cooker during the winter, you are missing out on a huge opportunity. My slow cooker is my favorite uh, appliance I think other than my coffee maker because our supper can be cooking it can be doing its thing in here all day long while I'm outside working and because it's this small thing instead of the stove or the oven you're not heating up your whole house I use my slow cooker all year long and I think I even use it more in the summer than I do in the winter so the recipe I'm doing is a creamy tomato and chicken soup super easy I actually realized though, as I was going through and getting out all of my ingredients, I'm missing something. So I will run to the store, I'm out of onions. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and put everything together. I'll run to the store, grab some onions, and I'll just toss the diced onion in here when I get home. No big deal, it's a slow cooker recipe. It's going to be cooking for hours anyways. So it's not the end of the world if the onion doesn't go in immediately. So what I love about this recipe is it's super simple. But there's just something about the broth in this that just tastes so rich. So first is a can of tomato sauce. A can of diced tomatoes. A can of coconut milk. Now I'm gonna put in a cup of chicken broth or chicken stock, and I'm honestly just gonna kinda of eyeball this a little bit. And then some seasonings. A little bit of salt and pepper. two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, and then two cloves of minced garlic or two teaspoons of garlic paste. All right, and then finally, I've got a pack of boneless, skinless chicken breasts that I've had here thawing. And I'm just going to stick the whole thing down there into the soup. No need to dice this up. Just stick them in their hole. You could also use chicken thighs if you have those as an alternative. And then cover and put it on low and you're gonna cook it on low for about eight hours or so or just all day long if you want 
or if you have a little bit less time you could do it on high for about four hours and uh, so that is it like I said I'm gonna run to the store grab some onion and then I'll add some diced onion in there when I get back I like to use red onion for this particular recipe but you can use whatever onion you have on hand so that's it for the time being I'm gonna go do what I need to do today and I'll check in with you guys later and show you what this looks like when it's finished all right, so weather-wise, we pretty much had winter a couple of weeks ago, and now we are full-on into summer, and I think Alabama forgot to have a spring. The temperature today had a heat index of almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so we have already gotten to the stage of needing to take ice out to our rabbits, because rabbits are very prone to heat stroke. They, they don't... <coughs> Shut up, Willie! They don't like heat. So we have two liter soda bottles that we picked up at the Dollar Tree, Dollar Store, and we just dump out the soda, fill them with water, and we freeze them. And we have a couple sets of them so that we can take ice out to them every single day so that they can have a spot to get cooled off. And we also came out here today and cut holes in the sides of the new chicken coop and inserted these vents. These we picked up at the hardware store. They have ventilation on the bottom, but then they have uh, the slats on the top here. That way rain doesn't go in, but the air can flow right through. And so we have two. We have two on this side. We put another one on the other side. And I may end up putting a couple more on both sides. I haven't quite decided yet. We'll see how these do. Now, at the moment, they're just sitting here. <laughs> Cut the holes and just kind of stuck these in here. But I'm going to... And I'm going to take some pieces of trim and cover the edges to attach them to the actual side of the coop. So it has been a busy couple of days and the summer heat is definitely here. We've reached the stage of having to stay indoors midday, not being able to come out because it is just ridiculously hot. And so with the super hot temps, that gives me the opportunity to work on some of the things in the house, as does the storms we had the other day. 
because it was so miserable outside, I went ahead and got started on working on my kitchen ceiling, finishing that up. So I went ahead and painted most of it. The next step is to get the trim, and I finally decided on what kind of trim I wanted to use to finish off the edges around the cabinets and the walls. So I will paint those and put those in and then it is just the light over the kitchen sink and then that's pretty much going to be it. I do have one other project that will take place in the kitchen down the road because I made this fantastic score at an antique shop that I haven't shared with you guys. Uh, but that's going to be a down-the-road thing because I'm going to have to hire somebody to do something for me. Um, but once the kitchen is finished at this stage, I will do the before and after video and show you everything that we've done to the kitchen so far. And uh, yeah, so I'm really excited to see the kitchen finally coming together. And uh, when it's yucky outside, too hot, too wet, too whatever, that gives me the chance to work indoors. And then something else that happened that I haven't shared with you is my youngest son, who is also in the army like his older brother, he finished up basic training at Fort Leonard Wood, Missouri. And not only did he graduate, which unfortunately we weren't able to attend because of the whole Rona madness, um, but we were able to watch an abbreviated graduation ceremony online and so we were able to see him and that was great and that was one of two videos that went live on that uh, Facebook page for the basic training unit the other was a promotion ceremony so not only was he honored at the graduation for having a perfect marksmanship score the only person who did uh, but he was also promoted so we were we were pretty proud of him and he is already off to AIT, and so he will be getting started with that soon. So hopefully by the time that ends, we'll be able to go to that graduation, because hopefully things will be back to normal by then, which that will be in Oklahoma. So I don't think I've ever been to Oklahoma before, so it'll be a first. So that is all for today. Thanks for joining me here at the homestead. Again, my name is Constance from Cosmopolitan Cornbread, and I'll talk to you all next time.